Good morning, Paul is on the beeps. Today is Motivational Monday, October 11th, 2021. And it's time for your Polly's Island Sunrise and Surf Report with Dave Clayton. Good morning, everybody. It's a low tide this morning, so I wanted to be at the north end so you can see just how much beach you have at low tide. Sometimes you can see some really amazing textures in the sand. So we always like to come around the north end at low tide. So low tide is officially at six o'clock. High tides just after 12.30 this afternoon. Then you'll have another one about 6.30. Late afternoon, you'll have another low tide. Almost as the sun is setting, because the sun's setting well, well before seven o'clock now. And of course, sunrise this morning is officially at 718. Good morning, everybody. Look at all the beach you have this morning. Waves are breaking way out there. Temperature right now is 69 degrees and it's only going up to about 75. Partly cloudy this morning. And it's gonna clear up more and more as the day goes on. Wind is out of the north at about eight miles an hour right here. And the waves are about a foot and they're seven seconds apart. Let's take a look at that. Good morning, Lisa Clayton. How's my favorite second grade school teacher doing? But look at all this beach, y'all. Kurt Whiteside joining us from Paris, France. That's not Paris, not to be confused with Paris, Kentucky. Let's take a look. Hello again from Paris. Thank you, Dave, for your efforts. You are very, very welcome. Kurt and we love your family and hope you all are doing great so I learned yesterday from Travis that you really have to face the wind like this in order not to have terrible noise so that's what I'm doing the little things you can learn Good morning, Laurel. You've gone international. You are so funny. You are so funny. 
You are great. <laughs> No, speaking of Motivational Monday, Kurt Whiteside is a motivational fella, let me tell you. We might have to have him on here one day. And his, his whole family, actually. at all this beach we have we're looking towards Litchfield because that's the direction the winds coming from the north the no CM index today is a zero just feels great out here The reason I named today Motivational Monday, you'd think it's because I've told you before, I just love Mondays, all the potential for the week. You might think that. But today's Motivational Monday, the reason I named it that is because last night I got caught up in a documentary about Babe Ruth. Any of you all know anything about Babe Ruth? Let me tell you, it's really fascinating. Such a neat story. At a time before baseball was even popular, in fact, the news and everything didn't really even cover baseball when, when Babe Ruth was a young boy. Yes, he is a legend. But at seven years old, and I didn't know this, Evidently, he was pretty naughty. He'd get in trouble a lot. And so his parents actually put him in a home for someone else to kind of raise him. I know my parents used to, <laughs> used to threaten this with me. And now I know why. This was a thing, I guess, that they did a lot back in the day if you were naughty or got in trouble or seemed to be real mischievous or potentially just doing things wrong they'd send you to this place what do you call that it's like a home for bad kids I forget what you call it but that's what they did with him at seven years old Imagine what he must have been thinking. Reform school, that's exactly what it was. But then, when they dropped him off at the reform school, they didn't just say, we'll see you next semester or we'll see you next year. They said, have a good life. Yes, it was a reform school, but it was a reform school for life. Can you believe it? Many of us can't imagine this. I know I couldn't. My parents kind of given up. 
But that's what they did. So much so that when it came time for him to play baseball, there was no one to sign for him. Because he had to, he was underage. So he was forging his signature of, of parents that didn't exist. So just to tell you how much of a legend this fella is, I was watching the Pawn Star. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I love Pawn Stars. I was watching Pawn Stars, and this is what got me kind of in the Babe Ruth thing. I want to figure out about this guy. Was there was a picture of him early on with a bunch of baseball players. I think for the Yankees, maybe. But he was early on. He was like 20 years old. And I guess you had to be 21 to play. But this picture went for like $200,000. That's how much they were able to sell it for. Because it was such a rare picture of the young Babe Ruth. And I guess early on in baseball... This is, this is what really got me all excited about him, where I just had to start YouTube and information about Babe. And I was like, what? That's crazy, $200,000, that's amazing. And the thing really wasn't in good shape. It was kind of a messed up picture, and but it was just so rare. But it turns out, the reason, the way he got his name, was the other players when he was young the co one of the coaches really took him under his wing and they called him Babe Ruth like he was that was his last name Ruth but he was kind of treated like his babe and so that's how he got his name So, newspapers started showing up to games because they wanted to get pictures of the babe. And he single-handedly, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but it's, it's what, the, what I was reading and what I was seeing from these documentaries is he, he put baseball on the map, the sport. One fella that really was given up on who found his gift and bought into it full-heartedly. But he'd strike out a lot. But that didn't make him quit. He kept trying. And sure enough, he got enough great hits to make him want to keep trying. How many need to hear that word today? How many of you, like me, have tried some things and failed? I know I have. But the story of the babe, of getting back in the batter's box, looking into the eyes of the pitcher, and watching that ball all the way till it hits your bat. The story of his success and legend becoming the goat we each have that in us and this brings us to today's good news sorry i'm a little choked up <laughs> oh goodness if you get a chance
you need to do some studying on the babe. So today's good news comes from Psalm 90, 14. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Dear Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for you that are on, you're the only way we're able to be satisfied. We thank you that you know our giftedness. We ask that you would help us to help others today with whatever gift you have for us. Help us not to give up. Help us to memorize this scripture today on our hearts, in our heads. We thank you for your satisfaction in the morning and your steadfast love. Help us to rejoice for all our days. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, gang. Motivational Monday choked me up. I've done this a lot, and I don't remember getting choked up, but the babe choked me up. Oh, goodness. God bless you, and God keep you, and God help you make his choices. The best choices today and every day. Love you guys. Have an incredible day.